Welcome back to the Good Morning Ninja Show, and uh, I hope so. And I don't they enjoy the show right from the beginning because yes, we don't bring on better, better packages from the top stories to the newspaper review to the open get interviews where we don't get. And right now, we move on to another better interview where we know say everybody go get uh, they involved in. We they talk to uh, a fashion blogger, and uh, she be a content creator at uh, the Boyeme.com. Very, very you know stylish woman. She won't give us on uh, updates on top personal styling and how fashion uh, we go take them to the next level we deal with the one and only demi good morning madam welcome on the show good morning how are you we're good we're good to have you we good see you morning. looking very ravishing in blue thank you <laughs> we're twinning we're twinning blue is the color of the day and then what you tried at least you're wearing blue i jeans. wear blue jeans <laughs> i get blue uh -huh. yeah. good to have you thank you very much okay so let's even uh, understand uh, what you do, first of all, for people we know, know. Okay, just tell us what exactly do you do so that uh, they go understand. You know, f fashion blogging. Let us know a bit about that. Okay, so um, blogging is an online journal mm -hmm. where right. you share knowledge on any particular subject that you like. Okay. So for me, it's all about fashion because I like fashion. It's all about style. Um, so I share style tips and tips on my blog. Mm -hmm. um, on my social media and also on YouTube, I share how to go shopping, spend less money, but buy quality pieces. Mm. Okay, okay, makes sense. And um, lead us through your journey, you know, how you got into style blogging. You are a style blogger and you create content for social media, for the internet, for the website on how people can piece pieces together. Tell us how you got into all of this. <laughs> it's a really funny story because in the beginning, I never thought I was stylish at all. I just loved dressing up, looking good. But a friend of mine, um, she approached me and she thought that I actually fit the profile of a style blogger. And she said that um, he ordered me to actually go ahead and start blogging. But I was hesitant at first. I didn't want to go into it. I felt it was going to be vain. But after much persuasion, I've been doing this for three years now on my blog, on my social media account. That's been that oh, wow. um, I just started my YouTube channel to go. Now, uh, about uh, being a style blogger, you know, uh, is it, uh, is it, must you know how to dress? For you to be a style blogger because a lot of people might say i can put pieces on people and it will look good on them but i don't really necessarily have to wear them myself so there are people who have that in the narrative so must you know how to dress first before you can be a style blogger of course you have how are you going to sell yourself if you don't try whatever you're selling on yourself first okay you have to know how to style, you have to know how to dress, you have to know how to look good. Hmm. Okay, so Demi, let's talk about personal styling. How important is personal styling? And they say style, say, um, style is eternal. Is it, as, is it eternal even in this COVID-19 pandemic? So why is it important for one to understand the art of personal styling, even in a time like this? First of all, it's all about spending more, less money, sorry. If you understand your personal style, you're not going to buy things that you will never wear and end up spending money. But if you have your style on lockdown, if you have a personal style on lockdown, you understand the things that you like, the things that you will wear. It leads to saving your money, spending less coin, and still looking good in the process. Okay, um, Demi, if you can share with us some... Um... Quick tips. Now, this is important because we know that by the time coronavirus is officially over, people are going to be hitting the streets and giving us every outing. Once we know that there's no longer coronavirus, every invite we get, everyone is going to be going out. We want to show off our clubs. And uh, even beyond that time, whilst we're at home, it's okay to look good whilst at home. Mm -hmm. So we're seeing people that, I mean, you create content for social media. You teach people how to style themselves. Can you share with us some hacks, some very important hacks that one needs to bear in mind when you just want to understand the basis of styling, the basics? I would say um, have your, your basic pieces on lockdown. So have basic pieces in your wardrobe. One, I love blazers. I feel that they elevate your style, even if you're wearing um, a very casual um, dress underneath. Once you put on your blazer, 
you're good to go. Mm. I would also say have an A-line dress for those days that um, you know that you have you have a bit of tummy, so you've overeaten and you want to hide that tummy. Have an A-line dress, preferably in black, so that you can pair it with anything in your wardrobe. Another thing I would say for petite girls like myself, always have foot cut trousers available. They elevate the legs, make you look taller, and you probably feel like a supermodel at the end of it. Uh, another thing I'll say is have pointy toe shoes. So if you're not comfortable with um, high heels, have pointy toe ballerinas. And then if you're like me, you love a six feet, <laughs> six foot as, have um, a pointy toe cup shoe. Accessories are the way to go. You can take your, your clothing from here to here with your accessories. And when I mean accessories, I mean sunglasses, I mean belts, necklaces, um, bangles, your wristwatch, and your perfect and ready to hit the street. Ah, well, uh, as you've, sp you've spoken really well for the ladies, uh, any tips for the men? Because a lot of times they say, uh, well, men don't really pay attention to styling as much as women. But would you, any tips for the guys if they want to, you know, look good, sharp this period? <laughs> First of all, be clean shaven. Hmm. We know that girls are all about um, the beard gang, yeah. But let your beard properly, you know, take. <laughs> I like that. This thing you have said. Oh, no, God. Adewa is excited about this because he's not a member of the Dead Gang at all. So he's very excited. I'm glad. It's good you said this. All my haters are listening. <laughs> yes. So please continue. Yes. Love it too. Be clean shaven. Yeah. Um, a girl loves a guy that is well put together. Mm -hmm. um, make sure your clothes are ironed. Make sure your, your colors are coordinated. Mm. And then have a confident attitude, and yes, you're okay. It seems you are speaking to me like this. I don't understand how you are doing this. It's like you have met me before. I don't know. Like... Demi, whilst this oh, man God. is jubilating about the fact that you are com you are sort of endorsing his beardless face, let's talk about creating content in this period. You've been creating a lot of content, um, a lot of styling content, styling videos, teaching people. Now, there are many people who want to go into personal styling. There are many people who want to do these videos as well, where you're switching up outfits Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, yeah. showing different. You see the video training yeah. on TikTok. What, how, what is the amount of work that goes into creating this content? Lead us into the behind the scenes. Um, I would like to you, it's hard work, it's mm -hmm. time consuming, but with consistency, I think you can achieve anything that you put your hands to do. So I'll say for anyone who wants to start this journey, the first step is usually the hardest. For me, um, it took me a couple of years before I finally decided to take the plunge, even after my friend persuaded me. So first step is, is the hardest, but just take it. Believe in yourself, believe in your style. Stay unique to your personal style, to your true self. Don't copy, don't try to follow trends or copy the, the girl next to you. Keep to yourself, be consistent. If you're a style blogger, you want to buy pieces that would you can restyle in different ways in your wardrobe. So pay attention, curate the pieces you have in your wardrobe, pay attention to what you have. Buy pieces that you can restyle with those pieces in your wardrobe. And then just be consistent. Have a can-do attitude, very positive, very forward thinking. And yeah, the sky is just the beginning. Hmm. Okay, and before I let you go, what are the the essentials give us five essentials you've mentioned some of the things that we can have some hacks but what are the essentials maybe five or more or less that every girl should have in our wardrobe okay the first one is a blazer that's an essential because it elevates your look second one is a body shaper now <laughs> guys will say ah they want hourglass today. so body shapers don't shy away from them. Don't don't feel that oh um, it's a shameful thing to to invest in. But body shape is a really good second access and third sorry accessories. Third. Yeah. Accessories elevate your look. You take a look from here to here. Felt sunglasses like I said earlier, and a red lipstick. Hmm. Mm. 
Mm. Yeah. Red Let's lipstick. Red so lipstick. blazers, accessories, um, red lipstick, and body shapers. Body shapers. Mm. Mm. Well, I totally agree with that. Thank you. I so totally much. agree with that. Uh, I, the, the, for me, the last question is: um, we, we there was a time that uh, mixing of too many colors was a problem. You know, people would say, "Ah, uh, color war, color blocking, color, color this, color riot." Now it has come to another uh, time in life where we mix a whole lot of colors together, and people are accepting it. Okay, so from your uh, professional PM side, <laughs> what colors do you think? would never go together as in you should not wear this color with this color in, in it shouldn't happen because these days you can't really tell people wear lemon on blue purple on orange i can't pull that off though you see you see i mean person. i don't know if there are rules to these things anymore see, are there rules I, exactly to colors? are there rules to color are there, there, rules, are to there rules to fashion no there are no rules fashion is you fashion is the expression of your art mm. if you can pull it off i say go ahead I don't think there are any colors that don't go together. I would say for starters, if you're a starter trying to experiment with colors, stick to the same color but in different shades. So if you have, let's say for example, you want to go for orange, mm -hmm. you go for a darker color of orange and a very light Lighter color. Orange. Okay. So you, start, you start with that and then um, slowly you progress to adding bits, adding other colors together. So if, mm. for, so if for example, you have purple, because mm -hmm. I love purple, and red, mm -hmm. always, you always go for the darker color mm -hmm. below, which is the purple, and then go for a red top. I don't think there are any rules in, in color. I say go ahead and do what you're comfortable with. Exactly. So long as I can wear whatever I like, and I look in the mirror and I'm comfortable with it, that is my style. My style is comfort. Do I like it? Am I okay with it? Fine. What is your definition of style? You said it's, it's who you are, the expression of yourself, right? Yeah. Okay, um, thank you so much, Demi, for joining us and thank for you. having this conversation about personal styling. Hopefully, people would understand that in this season, you can still look good at home. Everybody, a lot of people are looking like, like, uh, <laughs> looking like struggle. You don't have to look like struggle. <laughs> Demi, are you still there? Yes, I am. All right, um, I, this is totally different from our conversation. We know you are in the UK. Can you give us an insight into what it is like there um, as regards the impact of the coronavirus? Um, for the past... Two months we've been on lockdown so we mm. haven't gone outside we only leave our home to get essential so go grocery shopping um yeah that's it mm. we and are they, have, okay pardon i think uh, observing social distancing wearing face masks yes so we're observ observing social distancing wearing face masks and gloves um two meters apart from the person next to you um self-isolation if you're not feeling too well and staying home in, the, the main thing is to stay home and, and self-isolate mm. all right thank you so much thank Dave. you uh, it's been a very very insightful conversation thank you very much for your time thank you for having me all right all right uh, uh so i don't hear i'm so they say <laughs> my my styling is on point she did not say your um, styling is on point she just said that for for me, although your styling is on point. Oh, my uh, God. But that <laughs> men should look clean shaven. Men and women, everybody should just look clean. Just look nice. Look, look clean. clean. Yeah. To enjoy more of this, our Ogonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.